Hey, how's it going? It's SIP Day 14, April 7th, 2020, Shelter in Place 14 Day Crafting Challenge. This is the last one, even though we're still going to shelter in place until the end of April. But this is my last one that I'm doing for this challenge. And that's mostly because I don't have time to edit. <laughs> So I have, uh, I still have to edit 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then this one when I get done. So what I want to do tonight is I want to, I, I mentioned this, that I wanted to do something with these that I stamped last night. And then I want to also try uh, Ranger Glossy Accents. I went on YouTube and I watched a slew of videos on how to just, you know, jazz up normal paper or something that you've decorated on paper I have you know I was just concentrating on that and then also ran across things like uh, how to unstick your nozzle because it's a very it gets clogged it's glue so it's gonna get clogged and I have that problem too with uh oh I hear a kitty who says that who says hi coconut says hi uh, art skills tacky glue I have that getting I have a problem with it getting uh, stuck in the nozzle in the metal nozzle so whether it's metal or plastic this one is plastic it's still gonna get stuck in there and then I just take a pin and I have a special pin for this one so I pulled a new pin out for this one and I did watch uh, somebody eight years ago I think it was show us how to unstick the the glue or how to get the glue out so it doesn't stick again but I don't know if I want to go that route because every time I would have to do it if I use this a lot I would be wasting a drip of glue and a drip of glue and a drip of glue so I don't know <laughs> we'll see so what I did was I took I cut these three out and then I cut this one into a circle and this one I'm going to do in a little bit I have a plan for this one and but I wanna try I wanna try these I wanna give these a little blink so I'm going to the whole idea with glossy accents if you don't if you don't know <laughs> you if you don't know about this you could be like me you're like oh I want to get that because I saw crazy Rebecca uh, put it on she put it on dominoes the the I think it was the white plastic ones I think and oh, that, that's weird <laughs> it doesn't sit right and she was um, she made I guess magnet no she made um, like necklace jobbies, what are they called? I don't know. <laughs> she put like a bead, a metal bead on top, and I was like, "Wow, that's that's really cool. It's a really good idea." And she painted the fronts. Oh, actually, she painted the backs uh, of the dominoes, and she put all kinds of different things on it. She's a mixed media artist. She's very very good. And I thought, "Wow, that's cool. I'm gonna get that." So. Thanks to Crazy Rebecca, I got glossy accents. Now, you're not supposed to shake this, so I'm going to stop manhandling it. And I just want to do, I want to put like a little drop here. Can I see it? Oh, there we go. I want to put a little drop there. And a little drop here. Ooh. And a little drop there. I could, what I could do is I could cover the whole thing, but I'm thinking that would probably be a waste of the glue. And a little drop there. And also, the pin comes in handy if I was watching somebody else decorate already decorated paper, like uh, the, I have this big old pad of 9 by 12 paper has different patterns on it. And I think she, she either used uh, that scrapbooking paper. It looked like uh, wrapping paper, so you could probably do this with wrapping paper too. What did I do? I did this one. Oh, I did that one. Also, you can put this on top after it dries. You can 
just keep adding more and more dimensions. So the idea here is to add dimension to your design. Now see this is getting, it looks like it's getting very close to that other one. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Why, did, why was that one much bigger than the other ones? I don't even know. No, I'm just going to leave it. So that that is one way to do it right there like that. And then it uh, also I was told through another video that this dries fairly fast. And I thought that's good because <laughs> I don't want to spend a long time on this video. Although anything goes for me because I get excited and I just keep going and going and going. And that was with uh, painting the papers. I was having a lot of fun with that. Okay, let me do this one. Now, to see it from the aerial view, which is how you're viewing it now, it doesn't really look like a whole lot. It looks like little, little blobs on here, I guess. So when it dries... I'll be able to kind of lift it up. Oh yeah, that does that does give it a lot of dimension, right? That's cool. Okay, then for this one, I'm gonna let that one dry. For this one, I'm gonna see if I how well I can trace uh, all the way around. Like just give it a little blob here, right, and then. I don't think that's going to work out too well for me. But, I have to give it a whirl. I think the... the nozzle is not thin enough. And I can see why some people want to add, uh, add, uh, put this into a glue bottle. Oh yeah, that's gonna be terrible. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this whole thing, like this whole diamond area here, and just cover that up. Oh yeah, where are my dominoes? <laughs> And that's let that's let that's it for a while. It looks cloudy, but I'm told that it dries clear. The next idea that I want to do is I'm gonna put that aside. Is I want to add where's that circle? This circle to this bottle cap. It's not a metal bottle cap. What I did was it was a white one. Okay, so what I did was I took a tissue and I cut it in half and I folded it up to fit in there because I was going to put, the first idea was, I painted this cap, so the first idea was to put it on top here and I thought, oh yeah, but what if I want to make a magnet? So I have my magnet, well, just to show you that it sticks. It sticks. <laughs> so, um, then I thought, hey, and then I put it way down in the lid. It fits really well in the bottom, but I didn't want to fill up this whole thing with the glossy accents. I kind of want to uh, put padding there so I'm not wasting all of, you know, this on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this. Now, I can actually glue use the glossy accents as a glue. I didn't watch that video, but the the title was use your glossy accents or use glossy accent as glue. Something like that. A little more down, Tammy. Okay. So now I'm just going to do that and let that sit a bit. Actually, I don't really need to let it sit a bit too. I could just 
Zoom in a little so your viewers can see what you're doing. So I have that. Is there any kind of... Let me put my little silicone cap back on there. Uh, is there any... I also put washi tape on here that I keep in my handy dandy Reynolds nonstick. This is the one of the small boxes. 30 square feet. 30? I thought it was 35. <laughs> and I have a whole range of washi tape in here and I use the metal tear off point there uh, to tear off the whatever washi tape I need. So I put this one in its leaves. I wrapped it around and when I was like wrapping and then re-wrapping I had painted the side with uh, the deco art metallic crystal green color and it was actually pulling the paint off the who knew that washi tape was pulling the paint off hey that could be another use for washi tape because you know it doesn't stick very well to objects and I thought hey with this glossy accents that would help to keep this down, I would think. Okay. So now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it in and cover this up and be careful. I said if there are any bubbles that you can tap the underside. See, there's a bubble right there. I didn't shake this. Why are you bubbling? I'm thinking I might put this in a in a glue bottle. In another glue bottle with a metal. Uh, nozzle or metal, what you doodle, what's it called? <laughs> it's a nozzle, right? A metal nozzle. Because I can't see the glue tip because it's clear plastic and the the glue here, the glossy accents, is also kind of clear. Oh, well, it looks a little cloudy there, right? Okay, I'm going to take that. Okay, so gonna let that sit I'm not sure how long that takes I would think that that would take a while to dry and I'm gonna give it I don't know I should have put this on first <laughs> and actually maybe not so let's see is this dry like it says it says it dries or somebody said it dries very fast I really like the the accents, you know, glossy accents. Hey, is that a ball? Coconut found a ball. Just a minute. Where is it? Where is that ball? I gotta play. I gotta play ball with coconut. Okay. Try to get the ball and throw the ball for coconut because when she's in a fetching mood. I don't know if she's going to bring it back or not. Then she'll bring it back to me. Okay, so... Does this one look like it's drying clearly? Ow. <laughs> I was just stabbed by paper. Ow, ow, ow. Perhaps I will trim that off. Round off the corners, the... <laughs> the paper was stabbing me. Now you can hear a lot of noise, and that's uh, a lot of loud sounds. He's playing with the ball. No, it doesn't look like it's drying. Right now, it doesn't look like it's drying. I'm assuming that when it dries, it'll be clear. Right? It looks still cloudy. This looks really cool. 
So let me see. I'm going to try. What I'm trying to do here is cut. Cut this part off. And kind of put that aside. That part right there. That's cool, right? Except for that giant... <laughs> this one right here. Is... <laughs> I don't know if it's dry or not. Let me see. I'm going to touch it. The first one I did was this one. Wow. It's a little tacky. But, whoa, I'm pretty sure, though, this one is still wet. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just going back and forth to see if it's... I want to see... It feels kind of damp on the underside. Oh, if you see bubbles, uh, people are saying just tap it like that, and it's supposed to uh, take the bubbles out. Of course, now it would be too late because it's well into the drying. Drying, drying, drying. Okay, so let's try something. I kind of really like the that part up there, this part. So let's try one of these other ones. She's going to town. I didn't think she liked those. The The ball she's playing with is, it's kind of plastic and it has like a lattice look to it. And it's a very, very, very thin plastic. I've obviously paid too much money for it. Okay, maybe here. Am I in the screen panel for you? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Yay! And maybe here. I'm not even going to try and, and see if I can get those individual petals. I'm just going to go like this. Cool. Can I try this? And then bring that up. That's cool. Can I do the flower, these flowers here? It would definitely be a bigger help if the if the nozzle was thinner. Now, the only thing I didn't do was the little swirly ones there. Where's my little pin? So, with the lid one, I, I will probably have to... Now, look, I think the washi tape is coming up. Do 
Yep, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> the washi tape is coming up here. So I think after it dries, I'm, I might might try and see if I can cut off the washi tape there. I did think about that. I thought, oh, this washi tape's going to come up. But I thought, then my next thought was, maybe if I put the glossy accents down, it would keep it from coming up. That is not the case here. Ooh. That is cool, though. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to let this all dry, especially this one and especially this one. And I'm going to come back in and show you, show you everything. I'll be back. Okay, it's been... It hasn't even... <laughs> maybe 20 minutes. <laughs> and this one I think is going to take all night to dry. And this one, I touched a little bit, maybe right there or something. I'm like, oh, and I, that wasn't dry at all. And I this um, this one, though, I think turned out the best. I like that one the best. And then this one. Okay, this one's the best in case I wasn't in the camera area, the viewing area. This one still needs to dry, and it'll probably take longer than an hour. And this one is dry in most spots. Now, what I did was I went through my jelly roll pack that I have, and I found this one, and it's supposed to be clear stardust. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So I want to see. Let me take this one. I want to see if I'm going to do it on this one and see if any of the colors come through when when I draw on it. Now, wouldn't it be cool if glossy accents came in a pen and we, we would have a little more control over it, I think. see it probably not <laughs> okay I'm gonna come down a little more excuse me I have to touch the camera to come down so there's always a little bit of shaking going on I am so sorry Trying to see, is it going on? I think it's going on. And turn this around. Hold it down with my finger. I'll do this one. I thought these were stars, but they look like little flower, little flowers. That's not too bad. Now, of course, this probably won't give a three-dimensional effect to it. But I want to see it. It'll add a little glitter to it. 
And I think I might come back in tomorrow night. I'll sign off on this one tonight because this is uh, day 14. But I think I might come in tomorrow night with this project. Can't see the... Oh, that is so cool. I can't see the little dots. Uh, and finish or maybe try and add glossy accents over this this part. So I'm going to see if I can add it and it'll have the same effect maybe or a little more 3D effect. But now it's going to have glitter on it. Where did I start? <laughs> Where did I start on that one? Shiny, shiny. <laughs> move it up a little, Tammy. Zoomed in. Got to move up a little more. Little hearts here. Hearts and flowers. Flowers in the heart. This will be hard right here. Right here. All these little dots. I think I'm putting them on the right spot. <laughs> I can't tell. Is it too much glitter for you? No, I did that one right. It looks like there are five petals, right? That'll be good, because when I get over here, I won't be able to see it that much. That clearly. be in your way. I'm sorry. Concentrating, so I'm quiet. What is that in the middle? Just gonna color it in. Whoa, shiny, shiny. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to hold that up. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's cool, right? Yeah. So that'll be cool. Come in tonight, tomorrow night, <laughs> later tonight, who knows, and, and add glossy accents to that one, and then these should be dry. Although I'm not planning to come back in as late as it is now. It's after 5.30 in the morning. And maybe I'll get to sleep early. I don't, I doubt it. <laughs> because on, on Monday, April 6th, I woke up, I went to bed after 8 in the morning. And I woke up at 3.30 in the afternoon. And I'm like, oh, I didn't want to sleep this long. Or this late in the day. Uh, but it, it still wasn't eight hours of sleep. I usually get seven and a half hours of sleep. If I can get seven and a half hours of sleep, 
then that's a good day for me. So, I'm going to sign up. Oh, I have to do a screenshot, right? Screenshot first. No, I don't think I can do it. I mean, I could lay it down. Okay. Okay, that works. That works a little bit. I'm going to move it over a little more. A little more. Okay, say crafty. Awesome. Okay. So now I gotta figure out a place to put that <laughs> where it's gonna dry. We're gonna put that to dry, Tim. Hmm. That the kitties won't get at it. Mostly that the kitties don't get at it. Okay, five fifty in the morning. I should go to bed soon. Okay, what did we have last night? We had what did we have last night? Oh, it's fabulous, right? I gotta deactivate that word. <laughs> okay, where am I? Oh, okay, great. Randomize. What kind of day would you like to have? Just a suggestion. Have an artistic day. That is awesome, too. No, it wasn't fabulous. Was it fabulous? I don't know. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Bye.